The thermal hot cold serving tray promises to keep food closer to your desired temperature longer than traditional plates or trays. There are two methods you can use to heat your thermal hot cold serving tray. First, you can place it in the oven for up to six minutes at a temperature of 200 degrees. As an alternative method, you can also heat this stainless steel serving tray by placing it on top of a pot of boiling water for three to five minutes. As we often do, we decided to run a little experiment and test the effectiveness of this product. In this case, we baked some toasted raviolis and pizza bagels and placed half on a preheated thermal hot cold serving tray and half on a standard serving tray. Almost immediately after removal from the oven, our snacks were at a temperature of 155 degrees. Ten minutes later, the temperature of the snacks on the thermal hot cold serving tray was 119 degrees. The temperature of the snacks on the standard serving tray registered at 108 degrees. After 20 minutes, the thermal hot cold serving tray snacks were 99 degrees, while the temperature of the snacks on the standard serving tray had dropped to 89 degrees. 40 minutes after the initial reading, the temperature of the snacks on the thermal hot cold serving tray was 93 degrees and the temperature of the standard tray snacks was down to 85 degrees. And after one hour, the thermal hot cold serving tray snacks were approximately 87 degrees, while the snacks on the standard tray had nearly dropped to room temperature at 78 degrees. As you can see, after one hour, the snacks on each tray decreased significantly in temperature. However, the snacks on the thermal hot cold serving tray were kept nearly 10 degrees warmer than those on the standard tray. To test the cold element, we tossed mini eclairs and cream puffs on a thermal hot cold serving tray and a standard serving tray and placed them in the refrigerator. After two hours in the fridge, we removed both trays and began recording our data. Almost immediately after removal from the refrigerator, the desserts had a temperature of about 44 degrees. Ten minutes later, the desserts on the thermal hot cold serving tray were at 45 degrees, while the desserts on the standard serving tray had a temperature of 56 degrees. After 20 minutes, the thermal hot cold serving tray desserts were 53 degrees, while the temperature of the desserts on the standard serving tray was 60 degrees. 40 minutes after the initial reading, the temperature of the desserts on the thermal hot cold serving tray was 59 degrees, and the temperature of the standard tray desserts had risen to 65 degrees. And after one hour, the thermal hot cold serving tray desserts were approximately 62 degrees, while the desserts on the standard tray had a temperature of about 67 degrees. As you can see, the cold aspect of the thermal hot cold serving tray also worked well. After one hour, the desserts on the thermal hot cold serving tray were five degrees cooler than those on the standard serving tray. Here are some important tips on how to properly take care of your new thermal hot cold serving tray. Do not overheat. Do not use to cook or bake. Never freeze. And hand washing is the only recommended method of cleaning. The thermal hot cold serving tray, available now from vat19.com. vat19.com creators of award-winning DVDs, and purveyors of curiously awesome products.